Hello, ladies and gentlemen, we are live in yet again. Oh, uh, there's been a goal. Um, yeah, as I speak, uh, I was talking about football here, and uh, of course, we are at this location place here. Uh, West Ham are two goals to the good up, and of course, Leicester just scored pretty much, and that is the goal. Bit of highlights for you. That's a good finish, isn't it? But anyway, that's all you're going to get. So, yeah, we've just done the live here of the waterways and a bit of Great Yarmouth Football Stadium here. That was a great exclusive for you there, and it was nice to see it uh, before the gates shut, which they normally do at 7 o'clock. Of course, we had exclusive access here. Sorry about the lights a bit dimming here. Let's move it across this way so you can all see here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so, yeah, um, Nick Coffey and Julian Spoons here. And, uh, of course, I just want to say to people on the YouTube channel here, because this is going to go out on the YouTube as well, uh, hello to Philip once again. And, uh, of course, we are going to talk about the... Um, the signing, uh, well, actually, no, we're not going to talk about the signing. We're going to talk about this guy called Rob, who we met in the Lion Pub in Great Yarmouth. Yes, we might as well say that we have been in Great Yarmouth over the course of the two year, uh, days. So, yeah, um, never mind that. But, of course, this guy in the the Lion in Great Yarmouth, Euston Road, and of course, we met up with him yesterday. He's not only a Chelsea FC fan, uh, great man, isn't he? But actually, I don't support Chelsea myself, but some people do. Uh, but what I would say is he's also a Coventry FC fan, which is quite rare. Um, and uh, the point he said, uh, he, he, he laughed his head off while we met him as well and watched the Arsenal and Chelsea game and the earlier game of Southampton against Man United, just for a laugh. But... Like I say, uh, yeah, it was a laugh because actually Southampton got a draw in the end. Um, but the main point is that he said and he reckoned the next manager to go um, of the Premier League is Arteta. All right, OK, let's see if he's right. So who is the next manager to go in the Premiership? Arteta, he reckoned this guy called Rob in Great Yarmouth who owns a business at the Crazy Golf at the seafront of Great Yarmouth and that's what he reckons so Julian's looking up at the screen watching the West Ham and Leicester game here on a Monday evening so what do you think is uh, that um, view of that guy you met yesterday because you met him Julian well, I, don't, I don't know I know what I met him but of course he's a Coventry and Chelsea fan not only that but he reckons that Arteta because obviously Chelsea beat Arsenal yesterday, he reckons that Arteta is the next one to go. Maybe. What do you, what do you think? Who, who do you reckon the next Premiership manager to go? To be sacked? Well, they don't call it a sacking in Premiership, but, but they end up getting another job. Jill is tuned in. Hello to you. Nick is tuned in once again. And uh, I just want to say that we do apologise if you don't see the video that we just done, just done a minute ago on the YouTube straight away. Some videos we haven't had a chance to upload. Not only that, they take forever to upload. And um, Facebook are having a big problem with that because they are big files. So they will be uploaded to our YouTube soon, okay? So the main point of this video here, which hopefully, as it is a small video, it will be uploaded to YouTube. So that's the next video that will be uploaded to YouTube. I thought we'd do this for touring with us. So, of course, who is the next Premiership manager to be sacked or actually leave? <laughs> is the word, because they end up going to other clubs, don't they? So, yeah. If you're a huge football fan, then you might want to have a guess. If you're not a football fan, even have a guess if you know anything about it. Who's the next manager to be sacked? Let us know in the comments. And let us know. Uh, Patrick Vieira. Oh, that's a good question. Somebody said pa Patrick Vieira. Oh. Uh, I thought it was Mr. Motivator, actually. <laughs> spread the love. <laughs> that's what you got to do, spread the love. 
<laughs> we want people to comment on our YouTube channel. Yeah, when you see it, touring with us. Yeah, check check out check out touring with us. Touring with us. Yeah, touring with us on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, check it out. It's going out going out live on there. So we'll, we'll leave you on that. Thank you very much, Sharon. Um, thanks for that extra comment already. Patrick Vieira, this guy knows. What's your name? Ian Ward from Leicester. Uh, from Leicester, Ian Ward. Okay, from Leicester. Spread the love. Lovely. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so we'll say goodbye for now, but thank you very much for watching our channel here. We do appreciate that. And uh, hopefully people can see our channel. Live from the prom here. Yeah, it's not the last night of the prams. <laughs> it's a joke about the prom. It's not, it's not the last night of the prams, is it? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Tim Vine joke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, maybe squad, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we saw Jimmy Carr yesterday, so. Oh, right. you, that's all right, isn't it? There you go. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, good, hey, yeah. How long are you here for? Hey, just an hour. We're working. Oh, right, are yeah. you working, right? Okay. What do you think of Great Yarmouth? Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, it's all, it's all good, is it? <laughs> this is guy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad, is it? Uh, is that where you're staying here? Yeah, two doors down. Oh, right, okay, we just ran a corner. Uh, that's nice, isn't it? Have you been to Yarmouth before? Years ago. Years ago? All right, okay. Yeah. Oh, nice, yeah. Uh, we're going to be probably here next month, so. Yeah, you never know. You might, you might bump into us. Touring with us, yeah. Thank you very much. Nice one. Cheers, mate. Bye. <laughs>